All right, morning all. It is, what day is it? It's Sunday. When's Christmas? Christmas is Friday, so it must be the 20th. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, I think it's the 20th. Sunday the 20th, I think. Oh, shit. Gotta watch what I say. Are we allowed out of the house now? I didn't watch the news last night. Something about tiers 1, 12. We'd be on tier 16 this time next year. Won't be allowed to go taller. It's a late sunrise today. It's 11 minutes past eight. I had planned on parking up and walking to the coast because my weather app said last night that sunrise is quarter past eight. It's not going to rain till about 11 o'clock. So that gives me plenty of time. Late sunrise, lovely. Get back in time for breakfast, kick the missus out of bed. I've got in the car this morning and apparently it's going to rain now and there's clouds everywhere. So there's no way I'm parking the car and walking. I mean, the beach is close to my house anyway. It's only sort of 15 minute walk the beach I was going to go to but I don't really fancy being stranded out getting soaked so I've come to a place which I've probably done about a million videos of before called the day marker um, I had all intentions of doing a video about the Canon EF 17 to 40 on the EOS R because I've had a few comments on that because I did do a little bit of a video earlier in the year um, and I'm still undecided myself I love the image stabilization on the on the RF 24 to 105 but I love the 17 mil wide angle on the EF. Ideally, I would like the 1535, the RF, but that's loads of dosh and that ain't gonna happen. Last night, the missus said she was gonna come out with me because I said, come out for a sunrise, you'll love it. It's really late, not being funny, quarter past eight, that's late. Oh, it's starting to bloody rain, but this is a bit of color. Is my missus beside me? No, she's still in bed. Admittedly, she's better off staying in bed because it's gonna be pants. It looks like it's gonna start raining and I'm going to think to myself, well, I should have stayed in bed. But I might sit up here for a bit. So I don't really know where this video is going to go. I wanted to do a video as well on the time-lapse mode on the, the Canon EOS Aria. So I don't know if that's going to happen. Because it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. It's just started to rain. I ain't getting out of this because I work in rain all week. You can probably hear it. I hate living in the UK sometimes. I hate it. I just want to live in sandals and shorts and no top. No chance of that. So I'm going to sit here and wait till it stops raining and go from there. Cool. Anything else I want to say? Ah, I've got, I've noticed because I film my videos, I've used so many different things for, um, for filming you, my YouTube videos. I started off with a GoPro, which to be honest, of all my videos, which I look back on, I prefer, I, I prefer the look of the, the GoPro. And then I moved, eventually I got an iPhone and I got this little bad boy. If you can see that, that plugs into the, is it called lightning port? Whatever it is down the bottom. And that's like my microphone. And it works, it's just, you wouldn't believe the amount of winds this thing blocks out. It's absolutely brilliant. I think I've done a video on it before. I'm sure I did. And it's brilliant. But I've noticed in the past couple of videos when I've, when I've been when I've downloaded the footage on my computer, there's a little bit of like matrixy juddery in my videos. If I can find it, I'll, I'll pop it up and show you what it looks like now. And I'm like, oh, I don't like that. That's really bad. And not only that, I've noticed. I don't know. As iPhones or as this iPhone has got older, when I'm walking along, the footage isn't as smooth. And there's nothing worse than what sometimes I watch the video back and it's me banging my gums, talking and walking. And I look like I'm in the back of a van shaking about. So. But yeah, I had a GoPro originally. I've still got my GoPro, works a treat. And I had this little microphone that plugged into the side, but for some reason that's got wobbly. And in fact, I had a gimbal, a New Year gimbal, which I've got up for sale. Well, I need to put up for sale. Um, and it is a stabilizer, freeway image stabilizer. And the footage was smooth, it was brilliant, but the gimbal whined as it slowly moves. You hear it whining. I don't know if anyone heard it, or I don't know if it was just me, my wolf tendencies, but I was like, bugger. So anyway, didn't use the GoPro because um, I got my iPhone. And the, when I first when I first got my iPhone, I don't know what this is eight, seven, eight. I think it is. I was like, whoa, man! Look how good that the video quality is. It's unbelievable. So I went over to that, and there was no warping at the edges as bad as the GoPro. Well, I don't really mind that to be honest. And I could touch the screen and change the exposure on the on the iPhone, which was really good. But now it's kind of blocky, and I don't know if it's the microphone that's doing that or it's updated to all the latest firmware and all that pants, or the, the iPhone's just getting old, and it's, it's just the way it is. I mean, I have, oh, bugger, it's, I haven't got it here, it's at home. I have got a, 
an image stabilizer from a phone. But it's, by the time I put this microphone on the side and I set it all up and I fanny about, you know, the phone's worth, I don't know how much. The microphone's not cheap. The image stabilizer's not cheap. And um, if I fall over, if I drop my phone, I'm buggered because I'm paying a bloody monthly contract for it. And I know my Canon EOS R, this video's lost and it's got kind of an onboard image stabilizer. And for, for my EOS R, I've got a microphone for it as well. Again, this blocks out the sound really good. But a lot of the time I'm bouncing over rocks, walking down steps, climbing down hills. I don't want this damn thing in my hand because if I drop this, that ain't cheap and I can't replace that. So I'm kind of at the minute, with how I video my YouTube videos, I don't know what to do. I'd, I would love a new GoPro to be honest. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to video with. But yeah, like I said, my the GoPro I was videoing with, I've got this little microphone that plugs in the side. Works a treat, but for some reason over the time it's got wobblier, wobblier, wobblier. And now it doesn't work. I've got an adapter so I can use this go this microphone on the side of the GoPro, but when I plug this in, it doesn't work. Oh, for God's sake, I know it's an old GoPro, it's like GoPro Hero. Three, is it? Oh, I forget now. So I don't know. I don't know what to record my YouTube videos with. Just want something small. I like the GoPros because they're tough. They're tough. You can put them in a little casing. Get a little microphone to plug in the top. Whack bam boogie. And if you drop it, they're pretty indestructible. My, my GoPro, I've dropped loads of times. That's probably why the microphone port doesn't work. But yeah, so that's me dilemma. If you look back over my YouTube videos, you'll see that something look different. I just want something I can whack in my pocket, get out, record, record, record. The main problem is the sound. That is the main problem. You need something like this, because I'm always landscape photographer, I'm always out. If I was sat in the car all the time and I'm not moving, whew, isn't that cool? And I'm not moving, I wouldn't need image stabilization and all the rest of it. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. DJI do like a little, what do they call it? Like a little video thing. And it's got built in stabilization. That could be an idea. So anyway, back onto this video. Um, that's my rant over. Don't hear me banging my gums. There's gonna be no decent, sun. Well, I don't know actually. I'll check the weather up again. I'm gonna get a little bit of time lapse. I'm gonna, I don't really know. See where we go, see what we get. But I'm thinking kind of day marker, funky clouds. Just, I just wanted to get out because I haven't been out in weeks. Oh, I've got a spot coming. You know when you get a spot even on the edge of your lip or somewhere here? I can't, it's in there somewhere. Oh, Rex. Who the hell gets spots at 43? But anyway, yeah, let's go and have a look when it's going to stop. I think it's stopped raining. No, nope, it's spitting. Don't like getting wet. Not outside anyway. Cool. Let's go and have a look, see what we can find. All right, I'm out of the car. It's bloody freezing. Hopefully this isn't jiggling around too much and hopefully it's not blocky. You can just see the top of the day marker over there. But look at them clouds. Look at that lot. If I can get that in behind. Nice, it's on fire letter. Trying not to swear in my videos. Look at that skylight. Bit of a time lapse going on here. In fact, it's a time lapse for me Instagram. Is this in portrait? Tickety boo. Um, one downside to having a, a decent camera that will shoot 4K 1080 time lapse, and you've only got one camera, you feel like a dog with two dicks because there's awesome pictures around, but you also want to get cool time lapse. And like now, this is shooting a time lapse. Well, I can't take any pictures. So really what I should do is get me 5D out of the cupboard and use that as well. But it's, I love this camera, it's awesome. But yeah, nightmare. But hopefully a time lapse will be cool. Yeah. I've walked around, got a couple of shots. I'm not really feeling it this morning. I don't know if it's because I've shot this place so many times. Um, but it's a cool sky, it's quite nice. Funny enough, I've just had a text from my missus, it's just popped up on there saying, you didn't wake me, because she's really gutted. Yeah, I've got a couple of shots. The problem, the problem with this site is, 
it's a nightmare because you've got obviously you've got the day marker here but you've got the field that slopes off because the field's not exactly flat and then you can see just up there is the horizon of the sea so when you're trying to frame your shot i mean i've got i've got like a level stabilizing thing on my camera which is cool but then when you go back and edit the shot you've got the field going down you've got the horizon going straight and it's like what the bloody hell it just doesn't look right and then i swear the day mark is not straight i swear it tips to one side like a leaning tower piece just a little bit so you've got that leaning to the left you've got the field going down and you've got a straight horizon but the straight horizon is going away from everything else and it's just so sometimes you're better off getting lower and not having the horizon in it that's just my thoughts anyway cool well, i finally found a um kind of a composition a shot i quite like in fact my camera's just doing a time lapse now of pretty much a shot i've just taken it's framed up something like that because i quite like the i mean without that without that path yet yeah, it'd be kind of like a bland shot but i quite like this kind of like uh I just like this path, it kind of leads you in from right to left. Whole funky load of cloud there. Yeah, quite like it. I mean, pretty much what you can see there is the exposure I've gone for, and I'm hoping when I um, process it back in Lightroom, I can lift the shadows a little bit and get a bit of detail in this boy. shooting the day marker from here da, 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 a lot of people just come straight through the gate people's notifications are popping up because i put a video on facebook shoot the day marker from here yeah it's nice but it just looks like a blob see the gaps underneath it kind of just it doesn't separate it just looks like a looks like that if you know what i mean but if you walk along here a little bit keep looking at the day marker keep looking at the day marker see what's starting to happen Puts a, puts, a, puts a bit of, I don't know, it just it does it, the day marker doesn't look like a blob anymore. You just, you can see it's more of a structure because you can see through the base of the day marker. And I think that makes a huge amount of difference when shooting the day marker. In fact, my first front cover I got for Devon Life magazine was this bad boy at sun, I think it was sunset. Um, and I got the start, the starburst right through the middle of one of these. Now, if I hadn't have timed it just right, the shot wouldn't have looked as good for a start because the sun wouldn't have been through the centre. But it just just shows by moving sort of 20 foot what difference. See, look, see the day mark. You can see it's more of a structure there. You can see it's got legs. Whereas if I go down here, da, 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 da. now it's just. Don't look as good. See what I mean? Makes a big difference just by walking to or fro, left to right, or back and forth. Makes a huge difference. Cool. Bloody raining. I knew it was going to start raining again. Look at that though. That looks cool ass. Dun, 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 dun. All morning I've been shooting with the RF 24 to 105 f4, which I love. It's a lovely lens, but I've got a soft spot for my EF 17 to 40. So I've just chucked that bad boy on. It's just doing a time lapse because. Look at that sky. Oh, lush. So I've got a nice wide angle lens on. I'm going to get out nice and close and get some cool wide shots. Cool clouds with the 17 to 40 because I've just got a soft spot for it and I love it. I don't know what kind of video this is going to be. It's a mix of kind of time lapse. Now it's going to be a mix of the 17 to 40. See if I still love that lens, which I think I will. Um, and some just look at, look at the cool clouds. Lush. So yeah, I'm going to run around once this is finished, the time lapse. I'm probably going to drop these into the video so you can see it. Um, but I've already seen a shot here, sort of looking down this path. Day marker on the left, path there, sky, clouds. And it's probably an hour past sunrise, but these clouds are just lush. Cool. This is what the shots look, this is what the blah, 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 blah. This is what the shots look like. Yeah, I'm just going to hang around for as much as I can and then 
enjoy this funky weather. It pulled down just a minute ago, got soaked. In fact, it's raining as we speak. I've got my gloves on top of my camera, keeping it dry. Fingers crossed, should be a cool time lapse. And yeah, brilliant. As crazy as it is, this is probably my most favorite shot of the day. I've got an awesome structure there, awesome skies. But this bad boy here, clouds, reflection, leading lines from the post, absolutely love it. I'm not saying it's a front cover shot or anything like that, but it's just, I might even leave it where it is and get time lapse because that looks absolutely the nuts. Cheers for watching, that's pretty much it. Sun's come out, killed it. Time to go home and have some breakfast. That's probably the last video of the year. I'm hoping I can get this out actually before December the 25th, which would be nice. Um, cheers for watching, bit of a mixed video that. Loads of, yeah, kind of, bit of time lapse. Didn't really know what I was doing. I just wanted to get out this morning because oh, I haven't been out for ages. So cheers for watching, another year. Get 2020 out of the way. I don't know if 2021 is going to be much better as far as the COVID goes. I haven't mentioned it in any of my videos because nah, it's just depressing. So cheers for watching. See you in the new year. Cool. Cheers. Bye.